Friday, 17th August, and this is Top Stories by Mr. News. Atal Bihari Vajpayee, the only non-Congress leader to have completed a full term as Prime Minister, breathed his last at the All India Institute of Medical Sciences on Thursday evening. The 12-time parliamentarian was 93 years old. Unfortunately, his condition deteriorated over the last 36 hours and he was put on life support systems. Despite the best of efforts, we have lost him today. We join the nation in deeply mourning this great loss, an AIIMS bulletin said. Mr. Vajpayee was admitted to AIIMS on June 11th with a kidney tract infection and chest congestion. The BJP leader, who was diabetic with one functional kidney, suffered a stroke in 2009, weakening his cognitive abilities. He will be given a state funeral in the national capital today. His last rites will take place at Smriti Sthal, close to Rajkhat, at 5 pm. Mr. Vajpayee's body will be taken from his residence to the BJP headquarters at 9 am and the nearly 3 km funeral procession to Smriti Sthal will begin at 1 pm. The Union Cabinet also announced state mourning for seven days and a half-day central government holiday on Friday. With 91 persons killed in rain-related incidents on Thursday, the toll in the recent rain and flood-related incidents across Kerala rose to 156. More than 1.5 lakh people have been shifted to 1,200 relief camps. Twelve additional NDRF teams, comprising about 540 personnel, are being rushed to the state, in addition to the 18 teams already deployed, apart from contingents of the Army, the Navy and the Air Force. A further 23 NDRF teams will be deployed in the coming days, NDRF Director General Sanjay Kumar said. Chief Minister Pinarai Vijayan, who spoke to Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Home Minister Rajnath Singh earlier in the day, seeking more central assistance, said that the flood situation was extremely grave. The India Meteorological Department has warned of heavy rain for the next 48 hours in the state. Army, Navy and Coast Guard teams were pressed into rescue operations as families clambered onto roofs to escape the rising Pampa River. At least 10 of the 12 resorts still functional in the Elephant Corridor of the buffer zone of the Mudumalai Tiger Reserve are illegal, officials from the Nilgiris District Administration confirmed yesterday. After the Supreme Court's recent verdict on encroachments along the corridor, 27 of the major resorts in Mavanalla, Sinara, Varai Totem and Bukkapuram were sealed by the district administration on Sunday. Once the document verification process is completed in the coming days, closure notices would be issued and the resort premises would be sealed as well. Officials said that even the two resorts, which seem to have permission, house illegal structures within their premises. With heavy inflows into major reservoirs across Tamil Nadu and floods in certain districts, Chief Minister Edapati K. Palne Swami chaired a meeting yesterday to review precautionary measures. Earlier, the Central Water Commission issued an advisory cautioning authorities in 11 districts of Tamil Nadu and Karaikal in Puducherry following heavy discharge of water from the Kavini and Krishnaraja Sagar dams in Karnataka. As of yesterday, 2 lakh cusex of water from Kavini and Krishnaraja Sagar dams, 50,000 cusex of water from Bhavani Sagar and 33,000 cusex from Amravati were released posing a danger to areas along the banks of the Kaveri. So far, a total of 2,538 persons in various parts of Namakkal, Erod, Trichy and Dharmapuri districts have been shifted to 35 relief camps, an official release stated. On the instructions of the Chief Minister, senior IAS officers are monitoring the flood situation. 
A total of 592 personnel of the Tamil Nadu Disaster Response Force have been deployed along the banks of the Kaveri in various districts to undertake relief measures. We round up this newscast with fuel prices from key metros. In Delhi, petrol is sold for 77.24 rupees per litre and diesel for 68.82 rupees per litre. In Chennai, Petrol is sold for 80.23 rupees per litre and diesel for 72.69 rupees per litre. In Kolkata, petrol is sold for 80.18 rupees per litre and diesel for 71.66 rupees per litre. In Mumbai, petrol is sold for 84.66 rupees per litre and diesel for 73.06 rupees per litre.